I just did my hair. <laughs> what? All right, so we got another one from Nadula.com. Another one from the two wigs, one headband. <laughs> Sorry. Um, one headband wig and one lace wig. And boom, there she goes. Cool. So far, so good. All right. Y'all will see with me in a minute. And now for bum bum bum. I like so far. I like the color so far. I like the texture so far. Not sure if you can see. Here we go with the knots. And next up, we'll get a look at the headband wig. This is my second wig like this. So if you like a more detailed review and install video, go check out my YouTube channel. Now on to the lace front install. But first, I want y'all to recognize that my hair is long enough to just blow dry and brush back. <laughs> and also, I bit, I mean bit, the inside of my cheek, eating my favorite chicken for lunch. My cheek is a little more swollen than I admitted to myself before I did this video, but I will. So I saw this video of a lace closure install where the young lady only secured the front of the cap. And I wanna try that today because I'm only gonna wear the part in the middle and I honestly just wanna save time and leave less room for error doing all this stuff. And of course, I'm using my Mary Kay Time Wise Foundation to tint the lace. Right about now is when I'm realizing that this wig is a little large and the hairline just simply does not match up with mine all the way down to the ear, but you know what? We gonna make it work. So go ahead and get used to seeing this blue blow dryer because I used it. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I should have cut it on my head for the first time on camera or not. Whatever. Let's try to melt this. Okay, so the only reason I used the Invincible Gel in the front was because I'm rocking the middle part. And I really just wanted to make sure it had the best melted lace effect I could get um I think the sides look pretty darn fine with you know just the spray all right and I'm adding a little more foundation on the lace to blend it in make it look more like skin excuse me while I celebrate Mm. 
Mmm, girl, you can't even see what I'm trying to show you. That last bit of foundation sent her on where she needed to be. Now, it's not perfect because the edge of the wig did not cover my sideburns, but we made do. Now, watch me pretend to fix this part. <laughs> Okay, disclaimer. I am not the swoopy swoopy baby hair queen, y'all, okay? I just do what I can. So I just want to tie these down while I focus on getting these flyaways laid down. I did not have a wax stick when I made this video, so that's what that Kiwi Pineapple Edge Control was all about. Okay, I'ma let her set dry, do her thing. While I guess I do my thing, uh, don't judge me. Drum roll, please. I like I probably made it look harder than I should have or that it could have been but I mean I feel accomplished this hair feels good like I said it was a bit long this supposed to be a 10 inch but I think it's, it's more like a 12 pretty darn affordable for a colored lace front I'm 13 by 4 Nadula Thumbs up. Next install, I'm definitely going to remember to add some foundation to help define the part. But other than that, I am okay with the results. What y'all think? Comment, like, subscribe.